Hello friends, this video on reproduction in animals part 14 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. So now we will talk about the embryo development. So here you can distinctly see the structure, placenta and the umbilical cord and you will be able to understand how the embryo develops. So first of all, what is an embryo? It is a developing zygote which undergoes repeated divisions to form tissues of the body. As I said, the process starts with the zygote which is just one cell. It undergoes many divisions to form collection of cells and then out of those multiple cells, few cells combine together to form specific tissues of the body. Some Again, some tissues will combine together to form specific organs and that is how the entire organism will be formed. So, this embryo is a later stage of the zygote where when we have multiple tissues of the body. So, as you can see here, when it reaches the uterus, where you actually see that a lot of cells have already been present there, we call it no more a zygote but an embryo. So now the question is what supplies nutrition to the embryo? So as I said, embryo also needs nutrition to grow. So there comes placenta. So placenta is a flat round structure which is formed like this. So here you can see placenta very clearly, the brown colored structure. So this is made up of specialized tissues and it connects the fetus with the uterine wall of the mother. Uterine wall is nothing but the wall of the uterus. So if you see this is uterus, this entire structure which you see is the uterus. So here the, this is the mother's body and this is the baby. So this tube like structure which you see here, the cord like structure, this is the umbilical cord. So this umbilical cord arises from the baby's body and it connects itself to the placenta and the placenta is connected to the uterus wall of the mother. So through this placenta and the umbilical cord all the nutrients are passed on from mother's body to the child's body and this is with this nutri nutrients the, uh, the fetus keeps on growing and that is why it is always advised that a pregnant woman should eat well. She should eat a nutritious diet because she is not only feeding herself but she is also feeding the embryo which is developing inside her body. So exactly how things happen it is like the fetus this is the fetus. In the fetus body, there is a tube-like structure which arises as you can see here. So this is the umbilical cord. So this umbilical cord is connected to the placenta, which is a specialized tissue which connects the fetus with mother. And this placenta is connected to the uterine wall of mother. Uterine wall of mother. So that's how the developing embryo gets its nutrition. So all the nutrients come into the fetus from the mother's blood and all the waste product go out from the fetus into the mother's blood. Because the fetus right now will not have specialized uh, systems like excretory system, digestive system, etc. We will be not that developed. Therefore, all the food will come from the mother's body and all waste products will get into the mother's body. And then those waste products will go out of the mother's body through her excretory system. So this is how the development of the embryo takes place. So when we talk about the umbilical cord, it is nothing but the navel string. So you would have seen from the navel of the baby, the string develops. That is why when a baby is born, the doctor will cut the string and therefore you will see that the navel portion of the baby will have a different structure which goes out on its own after a few days. So that is because of that umbilical cord. So it arises from the fetus abdomen and connects to the placenta. So I hope this concept of placenta and umbilical cord is clear. So now the question is, okay, so now we know that the embryo keeps on developing. So when do we know that now the baby is ready to be born? So when is the time for the baby to come out of the mother's body? 
Now, as I said, that the development of the baby takes place gradually. So the embryo develops various body parts and then a fetus is formed. So initially, immediately after fertilization, what is formed? Zygote, which is a single cell structure, which will later undergo multiple divisions, repeated cell division to form multiple cell structure and later it forms the embryo. So a developed zygote kind of is called embryo. When this embryo has developed the various body parts like the hand, hands, legs, head, everything is developed, then it is no more called an embryo, instead it is called a fetus. Now this for the complete development of the fetus it takes nine months. So it, it is not always exactly nine months. Sometimes it is even the fetus is fully developed by eight months also. So once it is fully developed then the baby is delivered. Now when I say various body parts I mean like hand, legs, heart, eyes, ears, fingers etc. Now some body parts like heart they develop first whereas other parts like fingers or nails or hair they develop later. And then finally, this baby comes out through the vaginal opening. Now, how will such a big, huge baby will come out through this small opening? That's because that is possible due to the uh, contraction and expansion of the walls of the uterus. Because the uterus has muscular walls, so these muscles will contract and expand, and it will push the baby in this direction. And finally, the baby will come out through the vagina. Thank you. Please visit www.examfear.com to watch more educational videos with a better experience. Please do not forget to like and subscribe to our YouTube channel for latest updates. Thank you once again.